Right, y'all. Manny Pacquiao versus my boy Bud Crawford. Who's going to win? Before I get into that, do not forget this Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be going live. Supposedly, I'm going to have a debate at 2 p.m. when it kicks off. So we're going to see if that happens. Just throwing that out there. Now, let's get into this. On the zone earlier today, I seen on the playback that Terrence Crawford was on the Ack and Barack show. Now, there was a question asked to him, which I did not like the answer to. They asked him, but would you be willing to take a pay cut to fight Pacquiao? The reasoning behind this question is, with COVID-19, you can't have an arena full of people. And they said if the gate was missing and you would lose part of that money, would you fight Pacquiao? And he blatantly said no. He said he gets a portion of the gate and he's not willing to take a pay cut. <clears throat> he said he's taking enough pay cut. Um, pay coats. He's taken enough pay cuts to get it to the position that he's in, and he's not going to take any more. He said he's been up through a lot that a lot of people don't know about, etc., etc., etc. Blah 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 blah. That's how it sounds to be. Now here, I am always about fighters getting the most money possible because when they're not 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 just fighters, any athlete, because when they're not competitive anymore, fans will not support them. Fans will not pay for them to live their lifestyle. They've only got the time while they're active to make as much money as they can doing what they either love to do or what they do for money. That's the bottom line. So I have no problems with Crawford saying that he wants to get as much money as possible. What I do have a problem with is the same thing with the A.J. Wilder type fight. It's the same thing when Ortiz was supposed to fight A.J. and turned it down. It's the same thing when Ortiz was supposed to fight, excuse me, Playback. It's the same thing when Andy Ruiz was just asked to fight White and he turned down the money. <laughs> it's one thing to get paid peanuts. That's one thing. But a fight like this, both men would make a significant amount of money. It'd probably be more money than Bud ever made. And the fact that he wants to nickel and dime the gate, and, and because there is no gate, he won't fight Pacquiao, says a lot to me about him as a fighter in his mentality because here's the thing what people don't understand is when you beat the man in boxing you inherit their money you inherit their fans that's how it's always been in boxing that's why things like the lineal champion used to mean something the man that beat the man because that's who the spotlight's on that's who the popularity's on that's who everybody pays to see that's why i disagree with what he's saying who cares if you lose out a couple of million on fighting Pacquiao? If you beat him, the notoriety that you gain trumps whatever you lost. You're going to make tenfold the money in your next fight after beating him. It doesn't, like these dudes, they talk about business, but they don't really understand business. They don't understand positioning pieces on the board. Mayweather was great at it. He excelled at it. <laughs> Look at how much money Mayweather made through his career by the moves that he made financially, business-wise, thinking it through. These other fighters seem to be inept when it comes to making smart business decisions. You take a pay cut today, but tomorrow you reap the rewards. You take the risk and you get the fucking loot afterwards. You get the gold afterwards. You get the money afterwards. The money is going to be there. <laughs> All you got to do is beat these people, and you're going to get more and more money as your name gets bigger and bigger. And beating somebody like Pacquiao, when all eyes will be on you, will do that. I don't understand it. And it brings me back to the debate that I had. Now, I know here recently, Sean Porter came out and said the fight between him and Bud Crawford doesn't make sense. But before that, he was up to fight him. Crawford wasn't about fighting him due to them being friends. Understandable. And I don't know, like, it, it, it's, here's my thing. I said this on my live stream. Here's the problem I'm having with Bud. You want to be the best. You want to be undisputed in your division. You want to unify all the belts, but you're given the golden opportunity to pick up a strap and you turn it down. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, 
you lose some money. <clears throat> let's say on the top end, let's say he loses five to ten million dollars of the gate, right? Well, it wouldn't even be his because it would be cut. But let's just say ticket prices are astronomical. Ten million is what he gets. That's his portion of the gate, which is highly doubtful. But let's just say he makes ten million off the gate. The fight alone on pay-per-view is probably going to generate him. I would imagine this type of fight, he'll be making 10 to $20 million. So let's go top end to top end. You make $20 million off this fight, which is more than you've ever made. It's more than your worth, your net worth. That money right there is almost triple your net worth. If you don't know, Bud Crawford's worth $7 million. You would triple your net worth in one fucking fight. But because you lose some gait, you don't want to do it? You're not open to it because you might lose a little bit of money. Doesn't make sense. And like I said, with him turning down Porter, who I think Porter is the best measuring stick to see where you are in the what's weight division (coughs) with him turning him down and now him possibly turning down Pacquiao is not a good look. And if, if Terrence Crawford comes back and fights a nobody who shouldn't be in the ring with him, then my defense of him is going to diminish, it's going to be gone, it's going to evaporate, disintegrate. It, it, it's done. There is no more defending this dude. I love the way he fights. I think he's very skillful. But at the same time, if you're not going to step up your competition after you move up to be the best, but you're not trying to be the best, then I really can't defend you. So this interview to me that he gave on his own was a very bad look. Just like I already said, it was a bad look with Porter. And I'm just waiting to see what he does. I'm not one of them people that are going to say you're guilty until proven guilty. As of right now, (coughs) he's innocent until he fights a nobody. As of right now, he's not guilty of dodging Pacquiao because he hasn't officially dodged Pacquiao. That's what I'm saying. When Bud comes back, when boxing starts back up, and we figure out who these fighters are going to be fighting... That'll be the telltale sign of who's been full of shit and who's been telling the truth the whole time. But again, this is the second time I made a video on Bud Crawford having a really bad look. I understand that you want your money, but when you fight a guy like Pacquiao, who's going to bring you more money, whether there's a gate or not, than you've ever made in your career, that you're going to make more in one fight than you've made in your entire career combined of all your fights. What the fuck is the excuse? There is none. That's all I had to say on it. Again, if you like what you just listened to, give me a thumbs up. If you're a super Bud (laughs) fanboy, give me a thumbs down. If you you don't find any reasoning into what I just said about this being a bad look, then give me a thumbs down and explain why. If you like what you listen to, and you've been agreeing with a lot of things I've been saying, and you've been riding along with the channel, watching these videos as they're going up, but you haven't done it yet, Please sub to the channel because that's what helps me out the most. Also, you've got to hit the notification bell. A lot of my videos come out. I get very little notification, notifications going out there. Boy, that was very redundant. (laughs) But my analytics show me that not a lot of people are receiving bell notifications. So please click the bell if you have not. That way you can stay up to date with every time I drop a video. And in closing, I'm going to say this. Don't forget, this Saturday coming up, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be in a debate. And we're going to cook them. That's right. I'm inviting everybody right now to the barbecue. 